He really had a very Capablanca-like technique when he had the initiative. He will just increase this very slowly, always staying in control, not take, taking any uncalculable risks, but increasing the pleasure, pressure in another way. And this increased the pleasure for me. It's my great pleasure to present this book to the author, German Grandmaster Karsten Mueller, and I'm then going to turn the show over to him. My desire here was to publish and uh, somehow uh, for posterity memorialize all of Fisher's serious tournament and match games. It turns out that um, there were, when we were, all in, we were all said and done, uh, 736 of those games. New is probably that all of his tournament and match games are annotated, really all. So yet that you can follow really his development step by step and also see the early fastest phase sometimes took slightly more risk before and played yeah, more risky uh, openings and now you can see the whole um, development with annotated games and I think this is in a way is new that all tournament and match games can be studied in detail. What I wanted and what the job that Karsten did so so well was I wanted the record of Fisher at the chessboard. His legacy on the 64 squares from his earliest games in 1955 when he finished towards the bottom of the cross table in the, in the US Junior Championship right through the 92 match with Spassky. At first, uh, to be honest, I was a bit skeptical when he approached me because I thought it would really be a lot of work and um, a lot of competition in the field. Fisher had just died and I thought that many new books would appear on that. But then it dawned on me that yeah, I just had to make this was a very, very big chance to study in more detail the games of one of the best or greatest players ever, maybe the greatest player ever. Altogether it was really uh, great to check every move uh, and to wait for the critical moments and so I, I always try to stay alert and really to, to find the point where I should put the question mark and the, the, the explanations and on the other hand I of course try to be as short and to the point as possible because I didn't want much more than 400 pages in the end. The object was to create a book which when used by a weak player or a strong master would give an idea of the ebb and flow of the game, where one side went wrong and other obvious uh, uh, clues as to what was going on in the game. And in my opinion, I understand I have an interest in this matter, but he got it just right. Thank you.